We are back looking at the tutorial number two of the Pico CTF, just getting into learning how to be a hacker, someone in the capture the flag scene. So we're checking out tutorial number two is our challenge title. Our challenge prompt is Robin handed me this the other day. Maybe it'll help me find the answer. So the hints here are there are a number of solvers on the internet that can help. Okay, so let's check this link, the this icon, that, that this text, and we can remove that control F thing from the last challenge. This says, hey, check out the super secret message I made using this cool ROT13 cipher I found online. Blah, 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 lots of nonsense and garbage. Okay, so... This is where we've got to start to do our own learning, our own getting out of our comfort zone, making some research happen, Googling and trying to understand what we're really looking at right here. So ROT13 Cypher, that's apparently whatever this text is, this, this nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Google, right? Again, voting for Google, not for Bing. <laughs> I didn't want to see that happen again. So ROT13, what is that? ROT13, here's the Wikipedia page. ROT13, rotate by 13 places, sometimes hyphenated ROT13, is a simple letter substitution cipher that replaces a letter with the 13th letter after it in the alphabet. ROT13 is a special case of the Caesar cipher, which was developed in ancient Rome. Huh, okay. Because there are 26 letters, 2 times 13, in the basic alphabet, ROT13 is its own inverse. That is, to undo ROT13, the same algorithm is applied, so the same action that can be used for encoding and decoding. This provides virtually no cryptographic security. <laughs> it's often cited as the can uh, canonical example of weak encryption. Okay, I guess that's why we're seeing it in a beginner, kind of early on, friendly capture the flag competition. That's going to be... Probably the smallest, like the first place to start, the foundations of cryptography and ciphers. So we can see this picture over here. You see A is mapped to N, B is mapped to O, etc., etc. And that happens because they're being translated or kind of rotated by 13 places. Rot 13 replaces each letter by its partner 13 characters further along the alphabet. They use hello as an example, etc. And there's more here, more here. Another link that I saw back in the Google results was this rot13.com. Looks like, please enable JavaScript to use this page. Whatever. Looks like, will this just, okay, cool. Looks like it's a tool or utility that will let us, like, try out this cipher. So if I were to type in anything, like, please subscribe, you can see down below, here's that rot13 version of it. But remember, it said in the Wikipedia page that to like encode or decode or once we have it please subscribe encoded is this but if we were to decode it we give it the exact same thing so if i just cut if i just copy or paste this string well let me cut whatever whoa maybe i was out of that because of a uh, whatever my keyboard's trying to do we don't need it Okay, let's paste it in just at the top there. So that's the input to the ROT13 algorithm. And you can see it down below. Please subscribe. That's the output because encoding and decoding is the same. It's just that operation, rotate 13, is going to be the same after we rotate 13 times again. Since it said in that Wikipedia page, we know there are 26 letters in the alphabet. So, okay, we can just take that string they gave us, or that long piece of text, you'll hear me call them a string a lot, and that that will be what we're looking for if we pass it into that ROT13 tool. If I can click over to that tab. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this virtual machine is pretty clunky. So let's paste that in. Totally didn't take it because my keyboard also does not want to correspond with me. Let's paste that in. There we go. And here we go. We see, yo, have you been playing that new Mesopets game? The new blah, blah, blah. I would go so far as saying it's my new life's dearest ambition to obtain an inflatable sloth monster. Okay. Maybe this is the flag. This must be what we're trying to submit for points. Let's go over here to that page, Pico CTF 2017. And let's submit this flag. Submit down to the bottom right. Cool. Looks like we're moving on. That was the correct answer. And now we learned something new, right? So ROT13 is a derivative 
or a special case of the Caesar cipher. And that Caesar cipher, it's using a key in this cryptographic session of any number less than the number of letters in the alphabet, right? So that means it's mod 26 or it's modulus 26 because there are only 26 characters in the alphabet. The key can only be uh, anywhere in that range from 0 to 26. So mod being a remainder of 26, it will wrap around 0 to 26, etc. So in this case, rot 13 is that special case. It's using 13 as the key. A goes to N, etc. You saw that because 13 is that halfway point of the alphabet. It's half of 26, right? So cool. We're done with that one, and now we can move on to tutorial number three. Sweet. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, simple stuff, right? We're still not doing any of the crazy cool elite hacks yet, but we're going to get there super duper soon. We're Right now, we're building out the the basics. We're on the building blocks to level out that foundation where we can grow from. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. And hey, I just got to shout out all my supporters, uh, the people that are loving me on Patreon. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, Suzuki Attila, and Orga Lothia and Ruli, Destroyer of Worlds, Bastion of Terror. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, $1 a month, just Patreon will give you that shout out at the end of the video. Get your name up here. Uh, $5 a month was early access to any of the videos, content that I create for the future. So it's not, you can get them as quickly as I release them, not waiting on YouTube to pump them out. And uh, hey, if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what we can do better, what you'd like to see. If you're willing to subscribe and if you really want to help me out, please support me on Patreon. Great. See you in the next video.